Well, there's a guy named John Woolman. He first started off as a clerk and he had to do bill of sales for slaves. And that's when he found out he couldn't like oh, I can't do, this. do it. He also went to Philadelphia. He convinced all the friends to get rid of slavery. And this was in like the 1700s. Rogers. I live in Berkeley, California. I go to Berkeley Friends Meeting and I'm a member of Palo Alto Friends Meeting. In like 2012, I was living in Richmond, Virginia, attending Richmond Friends Meeting and one of the members of the meeting, uh, Barb, asked me to help make a video with the young friends who were there. Okay. Um, and should I start? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, well, to give it in a nice little package. Okay. The video is called A Brief History of Quakers. And the way it worked was uh, there was a lock-in. So the student, the, the young friends, uh, spent all night in the meeting house. And for a good, like hour and a half, maybe two hours, were researching Quaker history together and building out a timeline on a big scrap of butcher paper. I think the most I know is that George Fox mm. Hello. is the one who got it started. George Fox and his lady friend Margaret oh. Fell. In the 1640s, 1650s kind of time in England, and so I got each student, each young friend, to uh, go into the library with me and sort of tell me the whole story as much as they could remember. I took that audio and chopped it up into a cohesive story with a bunch of different voices of different young friends. And then we developed like an animation style that's kind of an animation, but there's kind of human hands moving around. George Fox had a revelation where it sort of came to him that if people are created in the image of God, then everyone is equal. And there's no way that anyone can have a higher right to speak to God than anyone else. It was so fun. Like, it was just really fun to, to discover that kind of, you know, playmaking with them and uh, that kind of video making. It's been really fun to see it be popular on YouTube. I had a general sense of the story of Quakerism before doing the video, um, and I definitely learned a lot through the process. The biggest thing for me that was interesting was James Naylor. There was a man named James Naylor. Hi. Who was said to be another leader, almost in the same rank as George Fox. Hi there. And um, he rode around in England other Quakers were flying around and saying like holy holy and stuff like that and like they arrested him because they thought he was trying to like pretend he was Christ or like claiming he was Christ. Well he said that he wasn't claiming he was Christ people were following him for the peace of Christ that was within him. And that was just really interesting to me that like there was this guy who was like also in who just like took things a little too far you know <laughs> and like I'm interested in that because I think that what we as Quakers are really interested in about Quaker history is like how to be relevant. You know, I think that a lot of Quakers are fairly comfortable right now in their uh, more or less liberal views. Whereas like the original Quakers were doing like, they were like showing up to houses of worship and like interrupting what was going on because they saw it as like lying that was up to them to correct the story. And I feel like we today could be a lot more radical than we are. The video as of now ends with the American Friends Service Committee receiving the Nobel Peace Prize. And it's like, yay, Quakers are the best. And, um, and it was very like, pat ourselves on the back, like we are so good. And, and I, don't, I don't think that that was a, a useful 
way to end it. You know, Quaker history is still happening. Like we're still building it. If I was to make the video again, like definitely redo the ending and try and figure out how I could ask these young friends like, okay, like what's your role gonna be? Like you just learned about all of these people, but like what are you gonna do now? I'm here at Arch Street Meeting House in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, just to say thank you for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every Thursday, and you can click on the button over here to subscribe to the channel. You can support us for as little as $1 per video. That button is just below me. You can see all the videos we've ever released in this playlist down here. Thanks again for watching, and have a great Thursday.